Hello everybody. It's uh, bothering me that I haven't put on any YouTube videos for some time and it's principally because I've been working on quite a big project, this one here. It's a model of a steam locomotive. Now this has involved doing quite a bit of pipe work as you see here. So I thought I'd do a short video demonstrating how uh, I've been routing the, the pipework from point to point. Getting it uh, accurately located at each point and going through several bends by missing various uh, juxta uh, is a, a little bit involved. So I think uh, I want to give you some tips on how to route pipe work and get it to end up exactly where you want it. This is the project I'm working on at the moment. It's a model of a 3D locomotive and the pipe work at the end of the boiler is quite involved. It's at the start. It has to start exactly in one point, get round certain other pipes and end up exactly at another point. So starting with fixed points and getting the pipe to start exactly on one point and end exactly on another point, especially if then if those end and start points are not exactly in line and not square and at funny angles. There are various techniques that you can apply to achieve uh, this result. So I'm going to start with uh, a, s a simple problem to route a pipe from a start point to an end point and these points are not square and are at various awkward angles. Okay I've made two blocks here with similar sized holes in them which as you see are definitely not in line with each other. So the idea is to put a pipe in here, a loose pipe, uh, just to show that it uh, is not dependent on fitting the walls. But it does line up with that hole coming through there and that hole coming out through there. So we're going to make a pipe that goes straight through here does a few bends and twists and goes straight out through that hole. So the first thing we're going to do is to add some guidelines to work with. So we select the center line of that hole and press K for sketch mode. V for vertical and that means we can draw down the middle of this hole. So we're going to put a, a line in representing the first part of the pipe. So we'll start there and we will come out about there. Can of course be more accurate where necessary. So that's one guideline. Go back to design mode, select mode and choose this center line for the hole. Again, K, V, and we can draw another line. Another line, okay. And we draw another line down here. Now, we can't draw from there to there. It won't find that because it's a 3D line and it's not in line with that line. So we can't connect those two in this mode. So back to design mode. Now we need the line tool. So we'll press out the L key and we'll get a plane, a grid comes up. But we don't want that because we're working in 3D with this line. So we'll press the escape key and if you move the cursor the grid symbol goes away. So now we can connect from there, we've got a nice dotted line, to there. So we have now 
the connection between those two axes. Now that we have got those two lines connected, we don't want those sharp corners, so we can put a, a curve in there. Uh, we'll say we'll make that one nine. That looks all right. That curve ends seems to end before it gets into the hole. Just well, let's make it definite. We'll make it well. It's in a diameter there now, eighteen. So we'll make it fifteen. Okay, yeah, and this one. We'll make that one. See, it's a radius there now. So we'll make that six. That's nice. So we've got a. It's a trajectory. So we're going to click on that. Oops. Escape to get rid of that. Select, select tool, find the end of the line, K for sketch, V for vertical, and we're going to draw the end of the pipe on here. So C for circle, there's a thick wall pipe, P for pull tool. Select the annulus part. Sweep tool. Double click on the trajectory and all goes blue. Then select the full pull and watch. There it is. And there is our pipe finding its way through misaligned blocks. That's beautiful. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.